Hey everyone, Farmer Mike, live from Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm. We're in the Jazz District, where it lives, 24th in Vine. And before I go in today, I want to remind you, don't forget to check out our YouTube video channel. We have over 200 videos, all dedicated to urban farming. And if you want to know how we uh, get in the hives and fool with those bees, check out our latest video with Farmer Ed Jones and Master Beeman Bill on our YouTube channel, Affiliates Blue Vine Farm. So today I'm putting them some work. Really tired. Really just want to go home and uh, and watch watch that uh, space movie on Netflix with what's his name? Um, you know the guy. Um, hmm, what is his name? Um, the funny guy, the the water boy guy. I I. It, it, it's there, but it's not. Perhaps you'll let me know in the comment section, okay? Leave a What am I? Who is that? Who is that guy in that movie I want to watch? And he's in space with the spiders. So, but what is his name? Ah, uh, and he's a comedian. It'll come to me. Anyway, Farmer Mike, why are you rambling? Because it's moments like these that you have to dig deep down and you really have to push through. And this is what Patrick Mahomes, this is uh, this is when it was in Kansas City, and not the Super Bowl, because it's it's the moment before the Super Bowl that's really the moment. And so this is that uh, that playoff game where it was really cold, and they had to de dib, <laughs> can't even speak, because it was so cold and their mouth was freezing up. But you have to dig deep and push through, because we know at the other side is incredible is phenomenal is amazing and uh, and so these this is one of those days where we're dragging a little bit and we have to push ourselves through and um you know that's what we do i feel so i'm gonna come back here we we'll walk down here i feel so good because um i was i was out here feeling like calling it a day but we can't call it a day because we have work to do we have to prepare for tomorrow and um and that that's you know really the story behind the first move on farm so i'm sitting i'm sitting outside and uh one of my neighbors comes over and he asks and he says you got any more of those of course i do life of the party it was our collaboration with the first african-american owned brewery in the state of missouri we did this rosemary infused rosemary infused beer and this is uh, a rosemary, blood orange. It's a sour ale. It's really interesting. Um, and it has rosemary from right here, Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm. Probably one of the only greenhouses that I know of in Missouri that even is, is brave enough to do something like rosemary because it's hard to do. But we live in the hard. We live in uh, the space of uh, impossible. That We want to do the things that no one else is, is doing or attempt to do. And so um, this rosemary that we cut for them, these plants are three years old, and we heat this with biofuel. I actually go to the go to the brewery and recycle all of the grain, and we bring it back here and use it as a supplement. We dry it and we turn it into heat. It's part of our recycling efforts. And since they've been open, all of the grain that um, all of the spent grain has come back here to Ophelia's. And so um, a lot of people are sleeping on this, you know, and uh, and, that, and that's what we love. We love when people sleep on us. And um, and this is uh, it's 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 interesting. It's different. It's unique, and it's got a kick. I'm trying to find the the percentage on it. 5.3. There it is. <laughs> it's got a kick. Don't 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 sleep on us. But I'm so proud of that. And of course, they have they have a whole host of other of actually award-winning beers. And so this is just the, you know something new, something they wanted to do, collaborate and do local. You know, and um, and they've got. You got some more popular styles like this one right like this one right here. Hey Felicia. They've got some more popular styles like this one right here. But this is the one that we're proud of because it's so unique. It's so it's so local. It's hyper local. And uh and we gave them the opportunity to uh to enjoy to enjoy one of those. Um wanna talk about a couple things, couple things. Um well actually my battery may be going down, so I'll keep this one short. Okay. 
I'll, 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 I'll leave you with a question. Have you ever felt it felt? <laughs> have you ever felt cheated in life? Okay. I felt cheated in life, and I'll tell you why. When we talk about the food system and we talk about uh, big ag, and it's a money thing to them. They really don't care about, they're not trying to grow plants that are, that are heirloom or things like purple Cherokee or big beef or anything, th things like that. They're not taking the time and care and love to give you something like, to give you something like that. It's about uh, shipping, it's about how much you can squeeze in um, how much you can pack in, how fast you can do it. It's, it's, a, it's a dollar sign. But we're more than that. We're more than a dollar sign. And I want to talk a little bit about honey, okay? And uh, so so this is your typical typical honey that you get. And, um, and most people, when most people taste this grocery store honey, that's their, their experience of honey. So here at Ophelia's Bluevine Farm, we had um, some bees this year, last year, and um, we have some different ty we have some different types of hives, and we had a situation where, unfortunately, we had some homeless people getting into the hives, stealing the frames of the honey from the hives, and um, and they it, it actually end up killing off all the bees. And uh, I think I want to say it was like a half million bees, you know, um, and so. That was something that you um, we didn't anticipate, but those are issues that you might deal with in an urban environment. Okay, and um, but from that we learned a lot. Okay, and I'm going to show you if I can come back here and go in deep into this master class again. Don't forget to uh, to go to our YouTube channel, Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm, like and subscribe, and. Uh, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go in today. So big thumbs up if you want Farmer Mike to go in to blow your mind in this master class. Give me a big thumbs up as I look for where is that? Where is that honey? So I look for uh, one of these. Where did I put it? Must be over here. Okay. So we had a situation again where we had um, a really weird year, and um, and hey, hey Felicia, more and honey was. Uh, I'm gonna pull these out. And honey was. Uh, oh man, this is too heavy. I can't even lift this too heavy. Honey production was down. Now what we did at, here at Ophelia's Bluevine Farm, we actually grew seeded watermelon in at the big farm in Edwardsville, Kansas. And um, and we had a, well, a weird year with those watermelon, just watermelon in general. The the black diamonds were off, and and if we, I can't consistently cut one open, and it's not it's not nine it's not like ninety nine like a hundred percent, then then I won't sell it. But so what we were able to do, where we were able to again um, compost the those those watermelon, and actually the compost pile was right next to or very close to the beehives and again bees travel many miles I believe it's five miles or so um, in order to get honey and whatnot and um, and, and w so what we experienced were the bees since it was so hot and as a source of water and sugar the bees uh, for food and water the bees went and they actually went into those watermelon and they they ate they ate them down, and when you looked into the cut watermelon, it was just seeds, just just seeds left in the watermelon. I mean, so, but but what we found, what we found out, and I'm gonna pull one of these out. What we found, what we what we found was, uh, let me get let me get this big baby right here. Let me get okay, uh come on Mike come on come on somebody say go farmer Mike go into this master 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 class farmer Mike go into this master class now I know what ran Allen in that gospel song can I go in can I get a witness can I get an amen when he talked about honey from the heart honey 
from the sweetest, the sweetest thing, the sweetest thing. <laughs> and I'm gonna wrap this up, but I wanna, I wanna get in close. I wanna zoom in and I wanna show you. You know, I wanna show you, honey from the hive. Okay, I wanna show you. I wanna show you. Now this is capped. Okay, this is capped. This is capped. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm a, I'm a, mm, cause this is, I'm a, this is, okay, okay, let's do that. And I'm gonna go ahead, mm. Amazing. I don't know how to describe it, but it was at this moment this year that I felt cheated because this is what real food tastes like. This is what real honey tastes like. And now when you taste the honey that's in, that bottle that I showed you earlier at the top, you feel cheated. And now you know that that taste, I can't really describe it, but that artificial, there's an artificialness, okay? Now this, this we're gonna sell as a fundraiser for $100 an ounce. It is amazing and, um, and, and I, I can't even describe it. And we were, um, we were at a, at a, um, a, a honey farm a couple of weeks ago, just a couple of weeks ago, and tasted the honey, and it, it, it can't compare to this because there's so much love, so much um, work that we put in. I wanna come back here. I hope I don't cut out. And what I have planted over here, behind where these hives were, is called lemon thyme. So, as we know, thyme makes some of the best honey in the world. And this is this is lemon thyme patch right here. I'm gonna zoom in because we're not gonna fake the funk today. Can I get a witness? Okay, so see this right here? This is a Mediterranean plant. And it loves it loves growing down here because of the these conditions. Because of I guess the French would say the terroir. <laughs> so a lot of this stuff we just figured out by accident over the years, doing what we love time look it up google it make some of the best honey in 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 the world and it was feet feet away to where we had um our watermelon i mean our watermelon was over there so it was feet away from where we had the bees and feet away from where we had hundreds of watermelon that they had access to all summer long and so when when we talk about we talk about excellence it just starts with doing what you can, where you are, with what you have. Pushing through on the tough days and never give up. And so the reason we're Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm is because 10 years ago, I had a dream behind me is a jazz district. Now there's multi-million dollar development coming in here. But I knew it was a diamond and no one had to tell me that it was a diamond because of what it represented. Vine represents black excellence. So. Around here, this is uh, Wendell Phillips School. A lot of history that was in there. There was a corner store here, an ammonia ice plant here. Dave Whalen's father had a taxi stand down here. There's ammonia ice plant here, um, movie theaters, and all this was black owned. So, um, so what we're doing here in this space at this time with urban agriculture um, is, 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 uh, is two parts. One part, we're getting back to like knowing and growing real food, self-sufficiency, teaching people where their food comes from, you know, and, um, and, the, and the other aspect of it is uh, creating black generational wealth so we can help other people. And really that's what um, my grandmother, Miss Ophelia, up here, Miss Ophelia was all about. So, so that's a little bit of today's masterclass again. And, um, if you've never tasted um, honey from the hive, then then you've been cheated your whole life. You've been cheated your whole life. There's a there's a there's a taste in here. There's a taste in this that now I get, you know. And so, fortunately, um, there's a, there's a price associated with excellence, and um, and I don't just come up. We don't come up with numbers off the top of our head. We do calculations on labor and stuff like that. And so when we put the prices on the board, it is, it kind of is what it is. And actually it's lower than what it should be. Um, but, um, but that's, you know, if, 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 
if the dream is big enough, the price doesn't matter. So here we are at Ophelia's. That's what I want to talk talk a little bit about. Um, go to our YouTube channel. Check out. Um, check. Out. Hopefully, I'm back. So right there, that plant. This is hyssop. It goes back to the Bible. It has too many too many uh, health benefits and properties. We use it for teas. You can use it for tinctures and things like that. Way too many uh, spice up salads. Way too many things to talk about right now. But. When this goes to flower, the bees got a little bit of some of this too. And so that's what made the honey, um, the honey excellent, you know, but it's also, it's, it's, it's the love for nature and the love for what you do. So I hope this inspires you. Farmer Mike live from Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm. I'm so behind schedule. I got to get in there, but I'll see you in the next video.